Yeah, yeah, no, so that's the bottom line. Um, the studio loves your sound. We're ready to run with it. Just uh, give us the word and we'll change your life. That sounds wonderful. Can we have a moment to talk this over? <laughs> Kayla, this is it. This is everything we've worked for. I'm so proud of us. Now all we have to do is sign our names on the line and our dreams come true. Yeah, um, about that. Um, listen, we've been talking and uh, the label decided that we're going to continue on with this, but without you. Wait, you're kidding, right? I mean, you're barely pulling your weight. You're literally never sober and it not in a fun way. You don't promote us. You're always showing up late and don't think I haven't noticed you always having to go to the bathroom right before we have to load the van. Dude, you know I have Crohn's disease. So this is it? You couldn't have picked a better time before now to tell me? I did, several times, but you're always too drunk or high to realize what's going on. Do you remember Houston at all? Probably not, because you got into a fight with security and he gave you a concussion. I've done so much good for this band. You know that. Counterfeit Isle is my child. Remember when we were in Miss Jane's class and we were swap lines we were writing? Yeah. So this is it, huh? Sorry, man. seeing you here. I was actually just looking for my clothes, so... Are you fucking kidding me? You're my best friend! You, can't you cheat on me with this guy? This guy? You whore! Whoa, man, not cool. Look, just put the thing down and just let us explain for a second, all right? Look, Alex, we're in love, and things between us have not been working out for a while now, and Darian and I, we just had this chemistry, and we just, we didn't know how to tell you, and I didn't expect it to happen this way. How long has this been going on? Fourth of July, like two years ago. I was on my I was on my first big tour then. You said you were at work. You missed the biggest show of my life and you were at work banging my best friend in our bed and you. You told me you were visiting your parents. You both lied to me. You were the two most important people in my life and you both lied to me so you could bone in our bed? Well, I hope it was worth it. Disarm. That's it. I want you both out. Get out now. Alex? This is my apartment. Wake up. I'm having people over and I need you to clean up. song I've been working on. It's been driving me crazy. I was up all night trying to figure it out. Yeah, I know. I could hear you. And so could the neighbors. Look, I told you you could stay here until you got back on your feet, but this is ridiculous. You used to be this ball of energy and now you're just depressing. Something's gonna have to change or you're gonna have to leave. This is all I have going for me. This is my destiny. I have to pursue it. I'm an artist. You sure about that? I'm saying this as your friend, but you're not very good. Well, that's the thing. When I was with the band, me and Kayla would bounce off of each other. Us as a team was golden. That's, it's, that's what got us that record deal. But now I'm stuck here working by myself and I, I just can't get into the same zone. Okay. I know what you need. We're going out tonight and I'm getting you laid. No arguments. Trust me, I'm like a legendary wing woman. Don't believe me? Text Ben Morris and ask him about his first threesome. Uh, why? You're getting back in the saddle, damn it. You just need a little confidence boost. Drinks on me? 
Well, at least I can get drunk. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> want me to invite Ben? No. Okay. Anyways, y'all ever had that roll up ice cream? What the fuck is that gentrified bullshit? Like seriously, how do you take ice cream? How do you take something as simple as ice cream? And you make it hipster. I don't fucking get it. Alex like, is dude, the best like, musician. So he knows all of the He knows all of the chords. Wow, that's so cool. What's your favorite like, song to play? Ice cream. Do better than that. I've never had that one before. This guy's got it. Who does that? Just get the normal. Where do I sign up? What? I just and jelly spoons put your hands together for him your very next comedian alex mckissick so uh show of hands who here grew up really poor I'm not gonna touch that thing unless you put cream on it. Yeah, I don't blame you. Alex, what was that? I don't exactly know. I just felt compelled. How was it? <laughs> You're way better at funny than you are at guitar. You should stick with that. Yeah, that was amazing. Who are you? So, you know, I've been thinking. I always thought I had to be a musician to be an artist, but comedy is the same thing if you think about it. I'm still doing something with passion and that's all art really is, isn't it? You know, almost really lost myself there for a minute last year. But somewhere, I found myself. For me, it's, performance is like stillness in the midst of chaos. Wow. That's so cheesy. That was Counterfeit Idol with Plagiarism on 97.1. <laughs> wow, I can't believe the label turned them into a radio band. They sound like Imagine Dragons now. If you ask me, you dodged a bullet with that one. <laughs> I've been doing a lot of that recently. <laughs> I just, I don't know about this. I've been thinking about it all day and I don't even know whether she likes me or not and it just seems like a bad idea. Yeah, yeah, I know, it's just a text message. What's, what's the worst that could happen? Yeah, all right, I'm gonna do it. Thanks for, uh, thanks for talking to me. that the zombie sightings have been verified as actual zombies. The hordes have eaten 23 people so far. We urge you to stay in your homes until this outbreak can be taken out.
Are you one of those students from that documentary school around the corner? I figure. Okay, come on, make it quick. I'm on my way out. What's this about anyway? People. That's what's wrong with society. People. Let me tell you what. It's like they get together and then just spread the stupid. You know, it's like my mama always said, they ain't got enough sense for a piss out of a boot. Now what that's doing in a boot, I have no idea, but you know, whatever. You know, you'd figure with all these educational options these days, students would want to major in something useful like medical school, science, you know, something to help the world a little bit. But no, they have to go live their dreams, going after liberal arts or philosophy or something, no offense. But what you should really do, drop out, go to medical school, better yet, go to mortuary school. That way your patients can't argue with you. See, right here, even criminals are getting dumber. Making a ruckus, probably gonna leave his fingerprints all over everything. That's what I get for choosing the best house in the neighborhood. Actually, this is perfect. Hey. Yeah, it wasn't even locked, come on. I got you, yep, too late now, go over to the couch, come on, sit down. Yeah. Don't worry about that guy, just sit down. Yep, don't make me call the cops, hang tight. Let me get you something to drink. You've got one side yelling about something and the other side yelling about something else. It's just crazy. Everyone's up in arms about who knows what these days. And then that side starts acting like this way and that side's yelling that side and I'm just, I don't know anymore. Should I take the lily? Okay. Anyway, I'll tell you. Just as soon as I grab up enough dough, I am moving to the mountains living off the land, away from everybody, cutting the cords, not dependent on anybody, no neighbors for miles, to be wrapped up in my own little world, away from the stupid. Okay, it's time to go. Okay, okay. people think the world needs is morals. No more lying, cheating, stealing, acting ugly. Then stupid just rears its ugly head right back up.
There is a curiosity in this, the drive to be inept. Here we follow two men, both seeking to fail so terribly and so consistently that they will define themselves and their careers from it. This is the plight of the before actor of the infomercial. Vinny Banks! That's the kind of guy we're looking for. We meet Max in his office. He is reviewing tapes submitted for the part. I mean, you don't find this kind of talent anywhere. Vincent Banks is a man who must change himself to achieve his goals. Ah! Scouting for ECOs, you probably know them as infomercials. It's tough work. Ugh! Oh, fuck! I have to find the best of the worst. The squarest peg for my roundest hole. I'm Randy Cooter. I'm gonna eat this banana. To Randy, this is natural. This guy is really something. Ow! Look at this guy. He's got it. They will audition for the part of not eating chips. Randy arrives first. I think that's Randy there. Yep. Oh, up on the curb. That's the Randy we keep hearing about. It did say he was a natural. Why is he climbing over? Okay. All right. Did, oh, he got his jacket locked in the car. Yes. Natural indeed. Oh, I think his, I think he locked his keys in that pocket. Yes. There you go. That's using your noggin. Randy Couture? Cooter. Cooter. Is that a uh, real name or a stage name? Yes. <laughs> My life is the before part of an infomercial. When I was a kid, I'd spill my sippy cup or uh, get my bib trapped up under my plate. Now, if I was lucky and it was something light like uh, grapes, I could get it out. But if it was something heavy, like, um, like a bunch of grapes, I'd just have to wait. All right, well, you got some bowls there in front of you. I want you to mess them up the best you can. Um, let's see what you got. Give me a slate. I'm Randy Cooter, and I'm gonna eat these chips. <laughs> Randy's demons have proven effective in this strange venture. It looks so fluid. Dude clearly has what it takes. I'm sitting there wondering, am I watching the next Shia LaBeouf or do I need to give this guy a ride home? It's real flattering he thought I went to acting school, but they, they, they won't let me go to school. Vinny is promising. Obviously, he's, he's excited about what he's doing. He, he wants this, you could tell. He's choosing to mess this all up. Vincent is next for the trial. His future may very well hang on this performance. Oh, hi. Uh, Vinny. Vinny Banks! Yeah, all right, Vinny Banks. Um, well, you've got some props here. Okay. If you know what to do. Um, oh. Just mess it up the best you can. Give me a couple different takes. All right. Uh, you had a lot of auditions today. All right, let's, uh, can you give me a slate? Vinny Banks! Just a minute. Excuse me. Oh, yeah. There we go. 
<clears throat> Infomerch uh, ECOs. They are works of art that are thinly veiled as advertisements. They are absolutely incredible, you know, and they only serve to help. My grandparents are funding their retirement with their reverse mortgage. My dad's boat is 90% flex seal at this point, and later I'm gonna use my slap chop and my vajetti maker. It's in my blood. It's all I want to do. Hold on to your hats. Oops. Oh, whoops. Oh, whoops. Gotta, gotta try to. Oh. Uh, um. Yeah. Oh, oh, gee. succeeds. <laughs> Do you see that? That's how you make a bank statement right there. Trademarked. <laughs> oh man. Oh, you know. God, I, they're both really good. I don't know how I'm supposed to make a choice. They're just really talented. I need to take some time to think about it. Ha! I forgot he locked his keys in his car. Hey Janet, will you call this guy a locksmith? My god. The following day, Max must make an important decision. It was a tough choice, but only one really has what it takes. Hi. Yes, this is Max Brandt. Yeah, Vinny. You got the job. Oh, and yeah, Randy didn't answer his phone. Automatic voice message system. Three, three, four. Hey, man. Yeah, yeah, glad to hear you. Okay. All right, you're, you're 20 minutes away. You, you said 20 minutes ago, but you are... Okay. Okay, you're, you're 20 minutes away. All right, all right, great, great, fantastic. Thank you so much. Appreciate you, man. Gonna have fun, it's gonna be ball. Just just get over this fast again, fast again. All right, bye. Man, why are you here? I can't believe you lied to me, man. So I'm you've been sitting here taking I'm a sick. nap, fully clothed, and you're sick? You just came from somewhere? What's up with that, bro? I can't believe you guys lied, man. Structure and behavior? Ever ring a bell? Huh? 
observe and experiment. We're going to do that. We'll soon see about that. I was going to give you that line. It's going to be great. What's up? At the end, it was going to be real pointy, but I guess you have bad things to do, man. I guess you, uh, you had a, a nap to take in full clothes because you clearly just been somewhere. But you were sick, right? Yeah. 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 Man, I don't want to do this film. What? Why did you not tell me that a week ago that you don't want to do this film? In the organized system, man, people work. <laughs> I don't got time for this shit. Man, you ain't got no job. In the organized system. So, so you're using the scramble words against me now. That's, that's very nice. But all I want to know is, it's cool you got a job. Why can't you just have told me this before I got my hopes up? Do you remember the last time you made a movie? It ended up like this. I know, but like... We'll never know. Could you look. not interrupt me for a second? Look, I figured we had time because it's not like he's been going to work with his injury, so I man, can just Man, he goes to work every day. Every day that man goes to work. What kind of friend of you, man? Like, he broke his leg. Shh. It was a car accident. Three cars. Two. Nigga, he broke his leg on a basketball court. Stop being dramatic, bro. He died. Right. I mean, since he was hurt, it wasn't like he's going to work because of his injury. I could call him whenever, and we, it'd be fine. It'd be fine, you know. Well. I guess we'll never know how that film would have turned out with the three of us, huh? Yeah. Like you care. is it? Hello. 
congratulations on being one of the first owners of our innovative algae suit. Or as we like to call it, the A suit. In our world today, food is scarce. And aren't we all tired of waiting on those long lines for the small amount of rations that our government allows us to have? Well, with the A suit, you will no longer have to wait. Simply place one of the nutritional algae packets that we send you every month. Oh yeah? Into the was my last 48 months, months of supplies then? Get at least one hour of sunlight every day, plenty of water, and you will never need food again. The A suit allows your body to absorb the nutrients Tell me something directly. I already know. If your suit is malfunctioning, simply give us a call at I would if the world's or ended. Or to page 11 in your owner's manual for troubleshooting. If your A suit is no longer beeping when you place the algae within it, it is time to replace your suit. You can do that simply by calling us at 1 800. Looks like I'm gonna die today. afternoon or evening I should be free. Why don't I just call you in a few minutes? Bye. You know you can't bring that inside, right? I'm taking the book. Okay.
and make a call. And why don't you find the rest of the groceries? Good luck. So, small problem. Uh, the kid asked me who Anna is. Yeah, I, I, I don't think he knows who you are. Hey, yeah, I know. That could, that could potentially be a big problem. Hey brother, I'm just saying, ever since Kanye been messing with them Kardashians, he ain't been acting right. And you know when it comes to something like that, there are no accents. Oh shit, we run. And on tonight's episode of 59 Minutes, we'll be discussing interracial dating with our lead investigator, Chris Rumsey, Wakanda Forever. So we're down here in Mobile, Alabama. We're gonna be meeting with some nice gentlemen today learning their take on interracial dating and why they only date white women. Roll time, Paul. So I'm here with Samuel Roger. Let me chat with us today about uh, why y'all only date white women. <laughs> me personally, I love anime and I just love things that black people don't see as normal, you know, 
like I said, anime, I love my rock music, sometimes I even like to dabble in the country music. I'm very pro-black, but when it comes to approaching black women, I don't think that they think the things I like are cool. They usually make me feel weird about what I like, so I just kind of exclude myself from them. Don't worry about it, and I go date my white women. The only reason I date white women is because of the Kardashians. I mean, they've made it for every white woman wants to date a black guy. Like, they need their own appreciation day because they've done so much for the culture. Bless those women. Bless them. I mean, I would personally never date a Kardashian, but everybody know that pussy is cursed. Have you seen what they've done to black men? Man, they damn near ruined the NBA, James Harden, Tristan Thompson. And then speaking of Tristan Thompson, I mean, that's a whole nother situation, but it's kind of- And now tonight, live in the studio, we have Chris Rumsey to discuss tonight's topic. Hey, Coco. And we're here with Jasmine, Coco, Samuel, Roger, and Darian. We're here discussing the different opinions on interracial dating. So how does it make y'all feel seeing the white devil with your black men. So why are all black women unapproachable? You ever thought it's just you? I personally don't feel like all black women are unapproachable. Um, I know something that I heard Roger say um, in the interview that they were speaking about. He likes anime and different things like that. It's not necessarily that. I think most of you don't give us a chance. So personally, I was in a relationship in the past where um, one of my exes loved anime. He loved comic books, Comic-Con, all those different things. I knew nothing about it. I couldn't tell you who Goku was from Gohan. I couldn't tell you any of that. But I told him if that's something you like, whether I'm with you, whether you're white, you're black, you're Asian, whatever, what you like is now an interest of mine because I like you as a person. So teach me about it and explain it to me. Then I will I can enjoy it with you. You're kind of agreeing with my point. If the black culture doesn't know about anime, doesn't know about Comic-Con, doesn't know about Dragon Ball Z, any type of anime or anything like that, don't belittle and degrade us and make us feel like we're different, make us feel like we're weird, make us feel like we're not cool because this is what we like. We don't have to like Jordans and know all of the latest, greatest NBA, NFL players. We don't have to know all that. We're just as black, just as cool, just as human as anybody else. That's all we're saying is don't make us feel like we're not accepted and make us go look for acceptance, usually outside of the culture. That's all we're saying. Such a pre-decided factor for anybody to, I don't date this race, I do date this race. It's not that way for me. And I didn't realize it was that way for anybody. That wasn't racist. Does that make sense? Do you, see, do you feel like there's more of a society pressure or more of a cultural issue as far as the pressure? I think it's more cultural because if you're outside or you're like dating somebody outside of your race, they look at you like, mm, they shouldn't be with that person, like you should date inside your race. When it comes to the whole thing with interracial dating um, or, or our differences, our different beliefs, perspectives, if we only keep addressing one part of the issue, which is what we're doing now, we're bringing awareness to that, but that's only at a surface level. So if it's a tree and we're just plucking the fruit off, which is what we're doing now, eventually that tree is gonna not have fruit. It's gonna look like it's good. We don't have to worry about that anymore. But as the seasons change, as they do, that fruit is gonna grow back and we're gonna have the same issue. All right, Samuel, we ain't heard nothing from you, man. What you got to say about all this? Oh, uh, I mean, I really don't know why I'm here. I, I date everybody. I mean, the reason why I've been dating a lot of white women lately, though, is because of the Kardashians. I mean, they have fucking revolutionized the world. Like, so many white women want to date black guys because of them. Like, I don't even have to put in no work anymore. They come up to me and ask me for my number. So yeah, that's the reason why I'm not dating any black women right now, because these white women keep coming up to me. What I'm gonna do, turn it down? I'm oh, shit. Hold on. Wait. And thank you for joining us on tonight's episode of 59 Minutes. And that's a wrap. Did Cam say
set these lights up over here. Kill. When you on your cycle last week? Yeah. Why you asking? The goddamn blood rain. Yeah. I don't got no type. Nah. Bad bitches is the only thing.